Hi, I'm Rob, and today we're going to look at how to apply a dust collection system to your existing drill. In the kit that you receive, you will have all the parts necessary to install the new dust collection system. Okay, so first we want to reconnect and reassemble the, the main air supply. And what we need to do is actually take this and turn it sideways. We're going to do that by removing the oil reservoir and there's two bolts underneath here and that'll allow you to um, take that off. We're going to add a 90 degree elbow, then reconnect the oil reservoir here. We're going to disconnect the claw, insert the T, and then put, put the uh, claw back on the end. Uh, when you do the, the T here, you want to make sure that that's in upright position. So you'll see that we added the 90 degree elbow here, place the reservoir, then the T, and then the claw. Okay, now if you have an A2C, um, the oiler you don't have to deal with because it's actually inside the body of the drill. And so this would normally come out like this. That's how you would receive it. So in your kit, you'll have the T with the 90 degree and you'll just assemble it like that. The next step is we want to replace the drill bearing guide with a new drill bearing guide that has the dust vac shroud on it. And uh, so all we're going to do is take a three quarter inch uh, wrench and uh, remove the, the four bolts here. Replace the same way, same position. Uh, you want to make sure that the shroud is touching the concrete uh, when you do place it on the rail and just tighten those bolts back up and that'll be the next step and this is how the unit should look when it's installed okay the next step is uh, attaching the actual dust collection canister um, to the drill and if you have one of our newer units uh, you'll have a, a mounting plate uh, in two positions you'll have it here on the end and on the side um, you should receive one in your kit that you could weld in place uh, to whichever you prefer if you put it on the side here, it'll fit in the back of a pickup truck. If you put it down here, it obviously makes it longer and, and it won't fit. Okay, so we have the dust collection canister here. Um, you can see the two mounting bolts right here. In this instance, we're going to choose to place it on the side. So we're going to spin that around. We're going to lift that right up and mount that in place. Okay, so you We've tightened the two bolts. This is securely in place now. So now we need to connect the main air supply to the, the system. And with the hose that's supplied in your kit, you can see that we've attached it to the nipple right here, up and then down into the T. Okay, the next step is we want to put our suction hose and connect that from the canister down to the shroud. So we have our worm clamp on. We want to install that. Uh, we have a 5 16 hex or a flathead screwdriver. We want to attach that. Okay, and then we need to attach the other end. Um, again, the suction hose with the worm clamp to put that on the nipple. Up secure and tight. And then again, the 5 16 hex or flathead screwdriver to tighten down that worm clamp. So once we get the suction hose mounted to the shroud down there, then that would complete the installation. And let's look at uh, some of the operation and maintenance. Okay, so once you have your drill into the drilling position and you're ready to start using this dust collection system, uh, all you're going to do is hit the switch to turn to the on position and it'll do a quick reverse pulse and start suction at the same time. And then once you've completed drilling, uh, to turn it off, it's just to turn, it, turn the switch to the off position. Okay, so we have the pulse button here that we want to press a couple times uh, just before we change out the filter. You'll know it's time to replace your filter when you see dust coming out at the top of the rain cap. Okay, when our filter is uh, full and we need to change out the filter, uh, we want to take out the clamps on both sides.
remove the bucket and then up inside is a wing nut and we want to turn that counterclockwise. Okay, so I got the wing nut out and uh, we have uh, Donaldson filters here and I replaced that with a new one by putting it back up in and tightening down with the wing nut. Uh, you want to make sure that you get a good seal with the, the foam against the canister. Okay, so my filter's back in and I've got the wing nut uh, tightened back up. It's all secure. I've got a good seat with the, the foam inside. And uh, now I want to make sure I have a good seat with the bucket. And you can just look underneath here and see where it lines up. And then put your clamps in place to hold it. And your safety pins. So that you're aware, there are kits available uh, for the A1C and A2C that include the valving that will make this an automatic unit so that when you turn the drill on and off, the dust collection system will start. And uh, if you call in and talk to us, we can make that available to you. If you have any questions at all about installing this dust collection system or the dust collection system uh, at all, please call us at 419-903-0010. Uh, ask to talk to our service department. We'll be glad to fix you up.